guys welcome back to our clubhouse whoop whoop and today today is right um sunday april 30th and it's 12 15 so per <laughs> and i am so excited for today um yesterday i finished pushing the limits i was really proud of myself because i met my goal and hold on i have the perfect tiktok reference okay give me one moment <laughs> You know I had to double it. Okay, if you get it, you get it. But yes, guys, I had to double it. Yes. I am so excited to start on Siege and Storm. Um, this is the second in the trilogy. In the Shadow and Bone trilogy. And I am here for it. I am so excited. I got this book out of the library. I was literally stalking it on the catalog. Um, when I finished Shadow and Bone, I went to my library's catalog and I was trying to see if they had the second book and they did, but sadly somebody had it out. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna be stalking this book. So the person finally bought it back and it's in superb condition so i'm just so excited <laughs> as you guys know i have a video of me reading the first shadow and bone and i got my mom to read it because i was just saying that how good it is and i know it has some mixed reviews on it but i personally love this series i love um the dark link so much <laughs> I love villains so I think the Darkling is like the perfect villain and I can't wait to read more about him see like what more chemistry happens between him and Alina but at first I didn't like Mal but towards the end I was starting to like Mal more he's very romantic so now I'm kind of torn between the two um, Mal and Alina was giving very much friends to lovers and um, that's not my favorite tr like romance trope my famous my favorite romance trope is enemies to lovers and obviously obviously obvious child I can't even talk obviously um, the Darkling and Alina gives more enemies to lovers vibes so I'm here for it now I'm just torn I'm torn between the two like why would she do this she made Mal even more like charming and romantic but then the Darkling is the Darkling he is just so sly and my favorite quote from the first book was go ahead Alina make me your villain I literally screamed I was like no. I screamed so yes that's when I was like that's my man's so yeah so I just can't wait to get into it and I love the teal I think I love this cover both of the covers are really gorgeous but it's something about the teal that's just drawing me in it's very I don't know I love teal and in the first book, I kept on referen referencing, I don't know why I can't talk today, y'all. Um, I kept referencing <laughs> I literally lost my train of thought. I had a cinnamon roll, so I should, I'm like on a sugar rush and I think my my thoughts are moving faster than what I'm trying to think hold on okay yes okay so the first book was definitely giving me Assassin's Creed um, Valhalla the video game if you know you know but definitely now with the teal is definitely giving me Assassin's Creed Valhalla vibes because those were like the main colors like teal and gold so yes i'm here for it i'm here for it the teal is so pretty i'm here for it and look at the snake ah 
I'm very curious of what this book two is going to bring us. Hopefully, I could finish by. Ooh, it's a pretty yellow bird just flew. It's so pretty. It has like a yellow lime underbelly. But, anyways. Yeah. I'm going to try to finish this. What I say, this is Sunday. So, hopefully, I think saying I'm going to finish today is pretty ambitious. So, the more realistic answer would be tomorrow night, Monday night. So, that is my goal for this book. And it's already getting quite late. It's already, like I said, 12.20 um, on Sunday, April 30th. So, we'll see. But yes, I'm so excited and my mom, she finished the first book yesterday and she really liked it. She agreed with me that the book is just spectacular and I'm just here for you guys. So let's go <laughs> on this wild ride. I also love the... It, she did the same thing with the first book. Like, I love this little artwork when you first open up the book. Yeah, I'm really digging the teal much. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, I love this. Also, this is my bookmark right now. It's Maleficent. I got this bookmark from Books A Million. They sadly closed down near where I lived and I was so sad. <laughs> so, how to support your local bookstores, y'all. The kind of the different names of the different orders, I guess. I, th I think that's so helpful, like, I do not remember. Ooh, guys, and we are presented with a new map. Ooh, that's so cool. Wow. We are presented with a new map. Interesting. Or I guess it's like expanded almost. Oh, this is so cool. Because you still have the unsee right here from book one. And you can see the Volcra here. But now... We have this, the true sea. And see like the little creatures, like the octopus. That looks so cool. This little octopus dragon looks so interesting. So, it seems like we're going to be presented with a new, um, sorry about the background noise, but it seems like we're going to be presented with a new, like, mystical creature, and I'm here for it. Let me see the other map. Yeah, guys, so this was the map in the first book. Let me see. So we had like a sneak peek to the true sea right here, which is very cool. And then we had the deer, but now it's like expanded. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're, we're doing the before again, which is so, I love it, because that's what we did in book one. We did that before. So, yeah, I'm so excited.
hubby to make an appearance. <laughs> I'm so worried. He is back and packing better. Ooh. OMG, OMG. My husband is back in business. It did not even take that long. I'm glad she didn't make us wait that long. Cause man, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Woo! I'm so happy. My man's is back. In the comments below, I want people to tell me like if you like the darkling as much as I do. Like I want to know that I'm not the only one who is who has a weird crush on the on the darkling. Yeah, I need to make sure that I'm not as messed up as I think I am. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. I'll have the recording on so you guys can see me blush. Okay. I'm going to see my husband. I'm happy. I'm happy to see my husband. I'm going to see yeah but guys this book doesn't waste no time like the action that action happens really quickly like it's filled with action it was the same thing with the first book a lot of action happened like a few pages in and we are presented with the same chaos like right in the beginning so i love that okay it first gives you all sweet and then it builds up the anticipation because it was like some weird characters and then bam so yeah but anyways, we continue. You guys see me trying to stall. Everything the Darkling says, I don't know, I feel like it's just the way I'm imagining it. The simplest things he says, just... Okay, I'm gonna have to calm down. It's literally taking me. Oh. Somebody come rescue me. I can't. Oh. Okay. I swear I cannot get past these pages, y'all. Like it's taking me forever to read two pages. Like, Cause every single line I'm swooning. Send help. Send help. Gina, man. Maybe I'm just too, like, giggly, giggly, I don't know, maybe it's me, that's, that's why I said I need, um, 
confirmation that other people act like this over the dark lane because I cannot be the only one. <laughs> I have a major crush on the dark lane and I feel a little guilty about it. But at this point, you guys already know how I feel about the villain. So. But it's ridiculous that I cannot get through two pages every sentence. I'm taking like a 10 minute break. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to focus. Ooh, look what the Darkling just did. He's ha he has suave, okay? Like dark, darkness, suave. Okay, period. Okay. <laughs> I do not like he's being very serious and I do not know I do not know why I find it I don't know why I find it hilarious like let me read you something real quick i promise it's not a spoiler so it says he said to alina the darkly and i quote back to pretending to be less than you are i see the sham doesn't suit you end quote <laughs> i don't know why i find that so funny come help me I need help I need help because there's no way is this is serious it, it's not this serious it was never that serious but but to me it is I don't know I just find the darkling hilarious because he has such dry humor and he's so sarcastic and I can't I just can't I'm oh, sorry day it is now monday and i think it's around 10 or 11 o'clock a.m um i'm sorry these mosquitoes be biting me up and it's just tragic i'll be dying i'll be dying from the mosquitoes they just love the chocolate blood what can i say but anyways you guys so i stayed up last night reading i made my little note cards of like things that i really liked and y'all like i said when i say i'm swooning over the darkling i'm swooning swooning over the darkling and that's on period that's on period mm. he still has that same sarcastic charm that i love and yes and i'm here for his new power ah. mm -mm -mm. i also like the new characters we are getting introduced to um so you have the twins they toila and tamar they are very interesting characters and i'm just i'm, I'm here for it all i was here for the oh i'm sorry for the ice dragon <laughs> Um, 
yes i'm just i'm loving the pace i'm loving that's what's going on right now um i'm loving that they found like a new family on the ship with storm hound storm hound i don't know how to pronounce these names y'all and the betrayal the betrayal of jean genia jean jean gina is ridiculous ridiculous i already predicted this in from the last book i was like we cannot trust her so very interesting very interesting um what else what else do we have stormhound is <laughs> he's very he's a very interesting character he's, i love his humor and yes i'm here for it I wonder who the client that outbid um, the Darkling. I wonder who this new mysterious client is. I have my predictions. I'm thinking it might be Badgra, um, the Darkling's mom. Um, but we're going to see if I'm right or wrong. I don't know. Who do you guys think it is? I think it's Bagra because... I don't know. I'm just getting back with vibes. I don't know. Oh, and then the apparat. I'm really loving that, you know, the apparat is making a appearance again. I wonder what drama he is going to start. And what else? I'm really loving that Mal and... Alina are going are becoming closer, especially since she has this new power now from the ice dragon and she's trying to like fight off the negativity that the dark link is kind of whispering in her brain even though he's not even there right now. It's crazy. It's crazy. She's like he's pretty much saying like it's only for two of us that are like each other like Mal's never gonna understand you and all of this trying to get into her head crazy so one quote that had me had me dying I couldn't even turn to the next page I was just sitting there like for like 10 whole minutes I was, I could literally read the book faster if I wasn't swooning over the darkly but anyways it was on page 57 when and I quote the Darkling saying this to Mal. You, you'll know when our deal is up. I'll be certain. I'll be certain you hear it when I make her scream. I said, oh my gosh. I'm like, the Darkling, don't play with my emotions like that. Don't do it. Don't do it. To me, um, what else do we have? Um, also, I think that Stormhound is more than meets the eye. I'm wondering why Alina finds his features kind of intriguing and she's curious about his features and his appearance. So, I'm wondering, like, what's, what's going on about him, and he's kind of like a closed box almost like he's very talkative but nothing of like substance about you know where he's from and like stuff like that so that's very interesting like oh, what you had in what you had in so yeah i'm just trying to like look through to see if there's anything i'm missing but yeah lena's trying to kind of getting a little greedy talking about you know she wants the next amplifier the third one the firebird so that's pretty interesting so yeah i feel like there's like mosquitoes biting me and little red ants like fighting me. i don't know we're gonna see how long we stay out here it's not too hot i feel like this is like the shade so it's not that bad but we'll see and i also like oh, i'm sorry i also number my pages mm -hmm. my note cards 
and I'm just like jotting them down while I go and then I'm gonna transfer it into my book journal which I always gonna like start doing after I read the book and you guys can check out my book journal I will link it my book journal video I will link in my description uh, about to meet this new client um, that outbid the dark link and I was not expecting the storm well I knew it was like some sly grins between the twins but I still didn't really expect the rogue that they were rogue Grisha I thought that was pretty cool but yeah just the fact that uh, That toy look killed Ivan, who is the Darkling's right hand man. I said, What in the world? I said, Ooh, The nerve. But yeah, I'm really liking Tolia. I'm so happy that he's a giant. Like, what? I was not expecting giants at all. I think that's such a cool little character addition. I love it. Love, love, love. 